Here we're looking at the basics of the using the cosine rule to calculate a uh, side. So I've got two examples that we're going to go through. Uh, one that's uh, not labelled up and another triangle that is labelled. So the formula list will display a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And from there, that's the formula that we're going to use when we identify to use the cosine rule on a triangle. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this triangle up to, to try and help me out to put my numbers into this formula here. So because I'm going to be trying to work out this side here, I'm just going to call that small a. So that will be the, the a there. And it doesn't really matter where else I put my uh, b or the c, but I'll put them there. And that kind of sets up my triangle to do the working or the basics for the cosine rule. Okay, so let's populate this uh, formula. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working out what a squared is, okay? So I'm going to go for b squared. So b was 5, so it's going to be 5 squared plus c squared, which is 3 squared, minus 2 times b, which is 5, times c, which is 3, times the cosine of a, which is 38 degrees. So one thing that you can do here is you can just fire all of that straight into the calculator and uh, hopefully from there we get an answer for a squared. So let's look at that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the whole row in here and just press equals. So 5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3 times the cosine and the cosine of 38 degrees. Close the bracket, press equals and that should be a value for a squared. So I'll just write that down just now. So that's going to be 10.359677 and we've got some other characters beyond that. Right, remember, so that's uh, a squared and what I'll do is I'll take the square root of the value that I've got here. So that's going to be 10.359677 and from there that should give me the, the length of the side. Right from there, what we'll go for is just the square root. And what we'll do is we'll just pull in the answer into the square root sign, press equals, and that should give me an answer of 3.2186. And I'm rounding that one, I'll round it to one decimal place. And if I round that, take it to there, so that's going to give me 3.2, and that's going to be in centimetres. And that's to just one decimal place this time. Okay, so what I've done is I've worked out what a is, so what I can then just finalise by saying is, so therefore, x is equal to 32, or 3.2 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, or if I was asked to find out the side from uh, BC, then it would be BC, I would state here as well. Okay, so that's the, the first example. So let's look at the next one. So what I have to do here is I have to find the length of EF. So that would be this length that's here. And I've got my formula already written down here. Just uh, remember to look at the formula list and you'll be able to pull that from there. Right, so labelling up the triangle. It's already labelled for me. So across from E will be E over here. So across from F will be F. And across from G is G here. Okay. And remember, it's this side here that I'm looking to calculate. So it's going to be EF. So what I'll do first of all is I'll uh, change the formula around. Now, there's two options that we have here is we can relabel the triangle out so that it fits in with the, the same values um, that I have here so that I can use the formula straight or I can change the formula around. I'm going to change it around this time and you just work out which is best for you. Right, so it's g that I'm going to be working out. So it's going to be g squared instead of a squared. And what I know, if I'm going to be working with g squared there, at the end, this is going to be cos g. And then it doesn't really matter which way round I put the e and the f. I'll just start with e squared plus f squared minus 2. And that's going to be e f that's there times cos g. Okay, so all I've done is just re, re, kind of realign the formula to the triangle that I've got. Right, so let's substitute our values in. Right, for E, I've got 3. For F, I've got 6. 
minus 2 times 3 times 6 times the cosine of 55 degrees for G. Okay. And again, same as up above, I'm just going to put all of that straight into the calculator. So I've got 3 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 3 times 6 times the cosine of 55 degrees. I'm going to press equals and what that should give me is that's going to be g squared. Okay. Right, so if I'm working out g, I'm going to take the square root of 24.3512 and the further characters, just leaving that in the calculator. And what that will do is going for the square root, pulling in the previous answer, and that should equal 4.93468. And let's just round that to one decimal place, okay? So that's going to be equal to uh, 4.9 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, so what we were asked in the question was for the length of EF. All right, I've labelled it, labelled it up with G, which should be okay, but um, let's go for the length of EF is equal to, and what we've got is 4.9 centimetres to one decimal place, and that makes it crystal clear. Okay, so, so this is the, the basics of using the, uh, the the cosine rule for a side, and um, a bit, bit tricky when you're changing the formula around, just slightly, but get used to that, or what you can do is just label the triangle up A, B, C, and get it to fit in with the formula you've got. Right, so we'll do some extension questions a bit later, but this one here is just the basics of using the cosine rule to calculate a side.